Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I install Android 11 on my tablet. And the tablet is Galaxy Tab A 10.1 Wi-Fi 2016 model. This is a SMT 580 exactly. Okay. And my tablet I already installed that Android 11 on. I just want to reinstall that just to show you how to do that. And uh, to do that, we will need a few things to download first in our computer. So we will need uh, Galaxy Samsung Galaxy USB drivers. So you download the driver. I already have it downloaded here. So this is the USB driver. So you make sure you install the one you need, which in this case is this one, Android Win USB A64. Okay, so once you install that, go into the next step. You will need a Samsung Odin, so download the latest version. So in this case, it's 3.10.7. I also have that downloaded already, so I can just click like this and open that. Just like this, that's our Odin. Okay, I just minimize that for this moment. We also need to download the Lineage 18.1, which is the Android 11 custom ROM, and Nick Gaps, which is the Google Apps. Okay, and we also will need the Recovery, the Team Win Recovery Project, Twerp, in other words. And we will follow a few steps that's are in the description down here. So you first have to go in the settings about the device, but this tablet doesn't have the option anymore. So I have another tablet here, which is exactly the same model, just with the old Android 8.1. So in here you go about tablet and in software information start tapping on the build number until the developer mode is enabled so scroll down here and go in developer options and there's OM unlock so we're gonna enable that just like that now this is the first step we have to do before we gonna install our Android 11 okay so I can put this tablet away for a moment go back to our tablet now as well before we start our tablet needs to have the Android 11 and the NIC gaps on the memory card so I just plug this tablet to the USB my computer so now at this moment we'll see nothing because the tablet is only charging so we just change that from charging to the file transfer and now we can see our memory card here and we just grab those two files that we need to go onto memory card and just copy them there now that should take a minute or maybe just a few seconds so just bear with me for a while <clears throat> okay so as soon as we have the cockpit we can start with another instructions okay that's there now so I show you that's the USB driver Odin there is our Lineage 18.1 that's the Android 11 and Nick Gaps all these links I leave in the description so you can download that yourself also I just tell you the Lineage 18.1 is Android 11 okay and if you be downloading the Nick Gap make sure the version is for Android 11 okay because you could download for android 12 or any other android version and in that case that would be giving you trouble with your 
App Store, okay? You would be able to use the Google Apps. So that's for that. Now we go back to our twerp instructions. So what we have to do is we have this enabled, okay? Now you make sure you don't have a factory reset protection enabled in your Google account, okay? I didn't have that in my case. I have the Odin running. I have the drivers installed already. And now I have to download a twerp. Okay, so you click on this and download the image tar of this one, right? And this link is the one that you need to click to download. Okay, I already have the download it in here. And this is the file I'm gonna be using. So I can proceed to the next step. And that is somewhere here, yeah. Okay, so the file and AP slot under the options, okay. First, we need to switch the tablet in the download mode. Okay, so we're gonna do that so by, I'm just gonna turn it off first, power down, power it off, and then we need to volume it down, home button and power button hold at the same time. So, home button, volume it down, power off. Keep holding it until we see the screen where it says continue, press volume up. So we just press volume up to continue. Now we're on the download link. Go back to our Odin. And here we see it's ready. We just click AP, select our twerp file, which we downloaded, click open, go in options, auto reboot with ontik da. And now we click start, and that should show what happening there. Resetting the pass, okay. Now, if you would see fail, it would probably be because you didn't unlock the OM in the developer mode. So, if you see that, make sure you did this, okay. Now you can click exit, you can reset the in the same way, volume it down, power off and home button, hold at the same time, keep holding it for a good while, still keep holding it, no, now you go, sorry, now you go, cancel that, and now, to see our instructions just again, the home button, volume up and power off button at the same time. Keep holding until you see the twerp menu. Still keep holding. And there it is, team win recovery project. So what we're gonna have to do first is Click on the wipe, and if you're doing this first time, uh, there's some kind of encryption in Samsung. And if you're doing this first time, you better click on the format data, and that will make sure that will remove the encryption. Okay, now we have to type yes to proceed. It's proceeding all right now you go back back again and here we gonna do we just go back to this menu wipe advanced wipe and here we just take the Dalwick art cache system and data and swipe to wipe all the data okay this is done click back we click back again and now we can do install 
installing we're gonna do well if you don't see this two four files you can just select the storage make sure it's the micro sd card press ok now we're gonna install this one here swipe that should install the android 11 that should take a while this one a little bit now that's done so now we just swipe cache and go on back go back again now we click on the nick gaps that will install some applications so just swipe to install this should take only a while See, this is installing all the necessary files like a Google Play Store, Google Services Framework, all this you need that the Google Store is running smoothly without any errors. <coughs> okay, that's done. So we click on the wipe cache, swipe, and go back. and reboot reboot into the system and that should be it and this load this should be shown our Android 11 Now, here we have something. So, in this is you can click start. I select my language, it be English, United Kingdom. Next, date and time is fine. I select the network later, so I'll skip there. Next, next, and next again. I can skip this one either. I don't want to restore any apps and data, so just skip that. And press start. And there is our tablet with Android 11 again. <coughs> Play Store, you have to log in, of course, sign in with your account to download any applications you like. And there is just a few applications. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, please like the video. And if I help you in other way, please subscribe. I'm going to try to install Android 12 the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.